Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. If you need to create a text type log file with the timestamp, how would you do that? So to answer this question, let's go to SSDT and bids and create that file with the timestamp. Uh, first of all, login is the information that we write to a file or a table or a XML or a Windows event viewer uh, and uh, that information can be used to troubleshoot our SSIS package. So it is an uh, information that is uh, that tells us all the details about package execution. So it is important when we debug in our SSIS package and uh, we have all those details uh, and we can take a look and uh, you know go back and fix our package. To enable login, what we need to do, we have to be in control flow or uh, we, we hit uh, an SSIS and that's uh, from where we can initiate the uh, wizard. Uh, if you are in the control flow, you can right click and go to login or in uh, SSIS tab, click and go to login. The next part is uh, select the provider type. We are uh, writing the log information to the uh, text file, so we need to select uh, text files. Uh, here we are going to add it. So once we add it, we have to configure our path or a text file where we want to write the information now and that this part is uh, where you have container or executables like package and uh, data flow or execute sql task for each loop and all that and uh, these are the, the different uh, events you can select uh, according to the executable so each executable has its own type of events uh, that we can log in click on here and then configure it so now go to new connection and then create a new connection we don't have existing file we are going to hit create file and then provide the path uh, where we want to create it i'm going to create uh, the log file here right now i can give a name anything and uh, but i recommend you guys uh, to give uh, the name of your package that's what the name of the log should be so when you look at the log files uh, you can tell you can relate the package with the log file uh, in my case it's package one and I'm gonna keep it package one dot log. Hit OK. The next part is go to detail and on each of the uh, pa package level. Let's say you wanna put the information on on error, on information, on execution. So select some random right now. I'm gonna go and tell you the best practices. But you can always read the description. Whatever is required, or whatever you feel that information is good to have, and that's what you can select. Now click on data flow and then uh, do the same thing select some events uh, in uh, our demo we are going to create uh, a file with the timestamp that's what the demo is uh, not uh, i'm not going to talk about a whole lot what are the events and what are important and uh, uh, but I, I i will tell you one more my, one thing uh, you do not want to put uh, all the events in the log file that's too much information and you do not, do not need that uh, it doesn't mean if uh, all these events are here they are important for you so always make your selections uh, uh, and uh, get uh, or put uh, that information that you need don't uh, uh, put all the events uh, that's gonna be make the um, log file too big and uh, kind of get complicated to read uh, when uh, you, uh, error happen and you want to go back to the log file and try to debug now hit uh, hit ok and now the login is uh, enabled run the SSIS package go to the log, uh, output folder that's where we created the log file open it and you can see that uh, all the information is there we have on uh, um, validation on error on uh, uh, progress and all that information so that's what uh, our, that's how the log file will be looking like what happened if i read on the package again stop the package and read on the package So what is happening here? The pa package did put the information in the log file, but it didn't create a new log file. It put the information in the same file. So it append the information to the same file. So think about that. If your package is running 20 times a day or even 10 times, you are appending the same information or the each execution you are putting information to the same file. And over the time, it will grow huge. And if you open after one month, this file may be too big to open. 
or it will be too hard to find information. So what is the good idea? We should create a file on each of the execution with date time. So that's how we can track it, which date failed and we can always go back and see, okay, we want to take the look on the log that was created on January 1st or on, the, on any specific date. So let's create the log file with the date time. Go to SSDT or bids, whatever you have and go to your package. The one thing I want to do, this, this is old connection, I'm going to delete it. This is the connection we have created it. So let it be, uh, you can give any name you like. I would like to create a, a variable. Now what uh, I want to do in the variable, I want to save the uh, log folder path. Why I want to do it? Because uh, on different uh, systems, uh, such as production UAT or QA, the, your log folder paths could be different. You want to actually keep them different. You do not want to put the put the login information of production in the dev uh, folder and uh, dev uh, package execution log files into the production. That can be kind of confusing and uh, it's not really recommended putting all that uh, log information uh, or create the log files in one folder. So you will kind of, when uh, the error happen, uh, it will be very hard to find uh, the exact exact log file so by creating the variable we can enable the configuration on this variable and when we move our package from one environment to another we can always pass the, the value or folder path to this variable and this will be used let's save uh, the folder path for now and add a backslash here so we don't have to write in expressions the next step is uh, go to the package uh, log connection manager right click here go to properties and write expression so here we are going to write expression on connection string we are going to build a complete connection string with date time for it here bring the log folder the next part is uh, you can write your package name here maybe <coughs> excuse me any any package name you write it but tomorrow if you decided to change the package name so you have you you will be still uh, creating the file with old package name that's not really recommended i will say use some system variables in this case uh, we're going to use the package name variable and here you can see that the package one is the name of my variable and uh, package one is the uh, that's what the package name and I got from the package name variable next part is adding a date uh, time to it get date but when I will do get data that that's not uh, the same type uh, or string type uh, what I have here if I will try to evaluate it it's gonna throw me error so I have to cast uh, to the string so I'm gonna do btstr and let's say I will take uh, 50 for now and then this is the code and 50 is the length of that string that's gonna be returned so it can capture all the date and time to it so now it show us everything here what is happening here you can see that it is going to the nanosecond level and we don't really need to that level we want to create with the date and time so let me do one thing I want to add underscore here and then I want to have only to the second level seconds substring and I'm gonna go 1 comma 20 so what it is giving me right now 1 comma 20 now we get the all the level we have day uh, uh, year month and date and then we have time so it's 1 a.m. 57 minutes and 10 seconds so I left the uh, dot here for now and let's add that uh, because we need to add extension so I'm just going to add extension log I can call txt whatever I like it so this is a complete connection string for our log file each time our package is going to run it is going to create a new connection string hit ok hit ok run your package and see the output return and uh, what is happening here okay so we have colons the colons are not allowed in the name of the file so that's what the error is let's go back to expression real quick 
and fix the expressions remove the colons with maybe underscore or whatever we like so we are going to use the replace button here a replace function and i'm going to replace this colons with the no spaces now we see that we have hour minute and seconds but we have don't have columns so it should work fine let's run our package the package is running su successful stop it go back and what we see here now the two files are created so as we see that we build the connection string to the level where we put the date and time to the seconds level so we have a one o'clock and 58 minutes and 33 seconds and the next we have 36 seconds so it created two files so very first file you will be creating that's that will be just having validation and this is sometime it has no information really and the bef this is happen when the validation is happening and this is kind of common error i will say uh, in ssis if you are going to that level seconds uh, it does create multiple files so uh, here if you open it this is going to have all the information let's uh, if we read on the package again what's going to happen delete these files and run the package again close it stop it now it did create the two files again one for the with the uh, let me see one record and it's just have actually have the fields and all that and then uh, next one is uh, the actual file for the logs so that's confusing and sometimes people say okay i don't want uh, uh, these many files created these are the always uh, going to be small files though i know but uh, i don't want them so what is the best practice here or what is the what we can do here uh, i look uh, into different uh, solutions i couldn't find any solution some people what they do they have uh, at the end of the package they go back and uh, drop those files with a small with their size is 1kb or uh, you know, they are very small files uh, that that's kind of also get tricky to delete those files uh, right after that and uh, some people live with it and uh, w one thing uh, one thing we can do we can go to the minutes level and then we have very few chances uh, it will create two files so let's go and change our the connection string to the minutes level instead of seconds uh, and then see what we get so go go back here go to the connection string go to expressions in substring we are getting a uh, 1 comma 20 so instead of 1 comma 20 we can get to 1 comma 17 and what when we get 1 comma 17 what's going to happen it's going to give us hours and minutes but next part it also removed that dot so we have to put the dot here with the log file so i'm going to add a dot here with the dot log so now we have extension dot log hit ok run the package and then close the package or stop the package and go back to the uh, log file so right now what we see we have only one log file so that's the way to go if you, your package is creating multiple files go to the minutes level instead of going to the seconds level and uh, if uh, this this there are still chances it will create multiple files if there is a you are at uh, hour and minute like 59.59 or something there are chances it might create uh, two log files but uh, the chances are very slim and th that's the that's the way to go i hope this helped and uh, thanks very much for watching this video and when you answer the people explain them these scenarios so the people would know that you had been working um, as an experienced uh, developer and what are the issues and you know the issues and how to solve them.